these gents and those in between welcome to another edition of my locks to win so this weekend we have the ufc fight night fiziev versus gamrock card and this one's actually really hard to have a lock on and i'm actually going to be breaking one of my rules which is never bet or put a woman's fight as a lock but i'm pretty confident since this fight's already happened before since this fight's already happened before, I'm gonna. I'm very confident Marina Rodriguez is gonna win, especially because Michelle Waterson Gomez is on a losing streak, which includes losing to Marina Rodriguez. So I would imagine M Michelle Waterson hasn't really improved. You know, she's lost two fights since, so I don't think she's gonna come in here and just beat Marina Rodriguez. I could be wrong, but I don't. I really don't see that happening. So I'm very confident in going with Marina Rodriguez, even though. I'm, I'm breaking my cardinal rule, which is never bet on women's fights. Now, the other fight I have for my locks to win. See, this is actually really hard. It's actually really hard to fight, hard to predict for locks. Because even though I'm picking Brian Battle against AJ Fletcher, AJ Fletcher has a clear path to victory in this fight. He could go in there and he could get down Brian Battle. You know, we've seen AJ Fletcher actually get Matthew Semmelsberger down. He got Angelusa down briefly, and Angelusa has some of the best takedown defense in the welterweight division, in my opinion. And I'm pretty sure... Actually, let me double-check that. I don't want to be... Okay, no, he, he, he missed all his takedowns. But he got very close on Angelusa, and Angelusa does have some of the best takedown defense. I guess Semmelsberger doesn't have the best takedown defense, but he is massive. You know, he used to be a light heavyweight, but I guess also Brian Battle did as well. He used to actually be a heavyweight on the amateurs. But yeah, he... Uh, I just have a weird feeling about that fight, just because there is a wrestling path and grappling path to victory for AJ Fletcher. So I'm actually going to go with... For my lock, I'm actually going to go with Charles Jourdain against Ricardo Ramos. I just think he's the clear, better striker... Uh, over Ramos, you know, he's the more battle-tested fighter. He's shown to have better durability than Ramos. And Ramos hasn't really beaten the greatest guys, in my opinion. You know, I don't, I don't, I just don't think he is on the same level as Charles, Charles Jourdain, especially in the striking. You know, he does have some jiu-jitsu, but he's, he's ma ma only a striker. And I, I just think Charles Jourdain's worked a lot on his takedown defense. It's a risky pick. For a lock, but I, I do think he'll win. Like, look, he's got a win over, you know, like Charles Char, uh, Journey Newson, who's not the highest level guy. He went to a split decision with Kung Hun Hu, which isn't, you know, he's not a bad guy, but like, he, he's a bit of an older fighter. The, I guess the KO over Zahabi is really good, but still, this, this was at Bantamweight, you know, this is Featherweight. Charles Jordan is. You know, he's fought at lightweight before. And even then, Ricardo Ramos actually has trouble making the lightweight limit uh, at the world, uh, the, fucking hell, the featherweight limit. He weighed eight pounds over for his fight before this. But I, I do, I think he did make uh, weight this time, which is, you know, that's that's ideal. But yeah, I, I think we'll see Charles Jourdain put on a pretty good striking performance here against Ramos. And Ramos does slow down, and I think with Charles Jourdain having, you know, teeping to the body a lot, mixing up body shots, I can just see him teeping a lot at Ricardo Ramos' body and just slowing him down and then getting a late TKO second or third round. So, yeah, I'm very, you know, I'm pretty confident on Charles Jourdain, but it is risky. So, yeah, these are my two locks, Marina Rodriguez and Charles Jourdain. Uh, let's keep that lock streak alive. So, yeah, cheers for watching. Let me know if you agree in the comments below or if you disagree. If you got, let me know if you got Ricardo Ramos or Michelle Waterson winning, or let me know if you would have had somebody else's luck. So yeah, cheers.